Hi, everyone. I, I just wanted to share briefly um, a letter that I wrote to the IRS. Um, because what happened was three days ago on June 2nd, or two days ago, June 2nd, 2020, I discovered in my checking account 1,200 dirty dollars uh, in there that don't belong. And this is, of course, the uh, pandemic COVID-19 uh, bone that they throw to the dogs on the floor while they feast on their banquets and then tickle their throats with feathers, vomit, and then continue feasting. This is what they do and what they are doing to all of us. And they are above the law and they are exempt and buying up everything, acquiring assets right now as I speak with money that just they print up out of thin air and do not have to work for. So anyway, before I digress any further than that, I needed to get rid of this money because I don't want their money, not that money. And um, I've had clients also ask the same question, how do I get rid of this stimulus that was sent to me? Because, and I understand if some people keep it, this isn't about that. You know, a lot of people actually need that money. I could certainly use it, but I just, I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with their stimulus package. I don't want their little bribe. I don't want anything to do with it. So um, I did some research and I found out how you can do it. You basically, um, if you had received a check, you could return the check. But if you received some digits that appeared in your bank account, then you can send them back a check in the amount. And in case you're wondering, and do your own research, please. And I'm not suggesting anybody uh, write a letter like I'm going to read to you, but you would write on your check 2020 EIP um, and you're supposed to put your social security number on there, I do believe. So um, without further ado, I will read you my letter, which is also required. It said the instructions I found online said to um, include a brief note as to why are you re you are returning the funds. So, I mean, apparently some people, uh, dead people, I mean, actually dead, not your all caps name, dead, but actually dead are receiving money um, because these people don't know what the hell they're doing in the first place. So I crafted my letter and I will read it to you here. And I've taken out my own personal information off of this letter. So here we go, John Henry Doe, care of one two three screw government boulevard city state phone etc etc email dear irs on 6 2 2020 i discovered twelve hundred dollars in my checking account labeled irs treasury 310 tax reference 052820 as part of the u.s government's covid 19 stimulus package i'm returning it to you because there is a problem with stimulus payments being issued based on a fraudulent pandemic the proof of which is exponentially growing and is not limited to a the COVID-19 pandemic infection and death rate counts are based on fraudulent scientism, padded numbers derived from guesses, presumptions, and financially incentivized diagnosis. b the COVID-19 RT-PCR tests have an 80% chance of a false positive while focusing on the RNA of exosomes present in every person who might have the flu or a cold or any respiratory disease or are suffering from inordinate amounts of fear, such as that proliferated by every corporate mainstream news channel emblazoning 24 hours a day the lie that people might die if they go outside. C. The CDC reported a 0.004% chance of death from coronavirus. D. Comparing the fraudulent death count numbers to the CDC's own estimates, COVID-19 allegedly kills less than half as many flu-vaccinated people who die from the flu. E. The coronavirus patent number US 7220852B1 is owned by the CD and states on page 9 that the government has certain rights in this invention. F. President Trump said on camera that COVID-19 was artificially induced. G. Deborah Birch, the White House coronavirus response coordinator, said on camera that deaths caused by anything other than COVID-19 are counted as COVID deaths if the person had COVID at the time of death which is an admission of the fraud I am outlining. Unfortunately, I only have 14 reams of paper on hand, so I'll have to cut the list short. But rest assured, 
the COVID-19 pandemic is, a, is the psychopathic globalist Agenda 2030 ushering in a lawless, draconian new world order of mass surveillance, mass slavery, forced vaccinations, identity chips, a police state, and a monetary system in cyberspace that can be turned on and off at will at the individual level, level for those who don't parrot government sentiment and aren't good or little order following consumers. To be clear, I am voluntarily rejecting and returning the digital numbers that appeared in my bank account because the COVID-19 pandemic is a fraud. Therefore, to accept a stimulus payment that doesn't come close to covering my true financial losses, not to mention the reprehensible acts of terrorism against my psyche, the absolutely unforgivable planet-wide violations of human rights, and utter destruction of the livelihoods of over 7 billion men and women around the world, Accepting your bribe of complacency would seem to be taking a swan dive into the coronavirus-infected community cesspool called the federal jurisdiction. Since the government has been funding Israel's own military-industrial complex with taxpayers' money to the tune of $11.5 million each day since 1949, and thereby supporting the slaughter of peaceful men, women, and children in Palestine, it would see only seem fair, though a pittance, if you could redirect your so-called money to Miss El Naim in the Gaza Strip, whose 27-year-old son Muhammad was shot and killed on February 23, 2020, by Israeli soldiers using weapons and bullets gifted them by the U.S. government. Miss El Naim could probably use the funds for therapy to help her deal with seeing on TV those Israeli soldiers mutilate her son's body with an armored bulldozer after blowing his brains out. If you can't seem to locate Miss El Naim, it's probably because she met the same fate for merely existing. If this is the case, please send the money, the blood money, to any one of the 328 million Americans the IRS illegally and unconstitutionally extorts daily. If by chance you are incapable of rerouting your cute little string of stimulus digits to the aforementioned, perhaps you should use it to offset the 25 plus trillion dollar national debt your psychopathic Zionist owners are heaping onto the shoulders of we the people for many generations to come, if, of course, we and you are here at all. In conclusion, and despite the fact that I have a strict policy against accepting bribe money, bribe currency from foreign corporations doing business in America, and who are in violation of 18 U.S.C. 1341 and 18 U.S.C. 1001, your acceptance of my check constitutes your agreement of these established facts. A. The contents of this letter are true. B. I am a Washingtonian state citizen slash USA national per 8 U.S.C. 1101-A21. C. I am not a 14th Amendment corporate federal person. D. All my rights are reserved nunc pro tunc. E. All invisible adhesion contracts between the IRS, the U.S. Treasury, and John Henry of the family Doe are null and void. F. The Social Security number in connection to this stimulus payment attaches to the Sesta KV trust that was created without my mother's consent upon my birth and violated lawful contractual obligations. G. The stimulus money is unconstitutional currency. Should you decide to send me back my check and insist that I keep your stimulus currency, I'd require you to be in compliance with the U.S. Constitution and send me $1,200 $1, U.S. dollars worth of pure gold or fine silver. I will accept it as an apology for not informing me that any previous tax filings I might have made with a 1040 form were a tax, cla tax class 5, estate and gift tax. Sincerely, and I will sign on the dotted line with my live life claim number beneath it, and closure, check number 401 in the amount of $1,200, 2020 EIP corporate entity number, and then the security, social security number. I just thought I'd share that with you um, to maybe inspire and to give you maybe some ideas of how to deal with that check when you get it in your bank account, which some of you have. And if you keep it and you use it, that's fine, because definitely we do need it. That's all for today, everybody. Take care.